Uh, Singapore has taken a major step towards a new COVID normal. Today, the city-state has moved into phase two of reopening. Many aspects of everyday life are now back on the agenda. People have been flocking to hawker centres and restaurants with dine-in restrictions lifted. Neighbourhood parks are busy and more people are using buses and trains. Taxis and private hire car drivers are also hoping things will pick up after months of poor business. And shoppers have been back out in force. Long queues have been seen in malls island-wide. Our reporter Melissa Go is live at the Star Vista. Uh, Mel, give us a sense of what you're seeing right now. Yes, well, it's day one of the phase two reopening and people I spoke to say they've been looking forward to this day for a long time now. You know, you can finally dine in at restaurants, you can visit your favourite retail shops and you can also meet with your friends, something that wasn't possible for the past two and a half months. So I'm standing outside Star Vista Mall. It's about to close now, but I, I was in there earlier at dinner time and we could really see a steady stream of diners coming in and short queues forming outside restaurants um, for those looking to enjoy a simple meal outside for the first time in a while. So, um, and we also saw uh, a lot of delivery personnel um, and people looking to do takeaways instead as they prefer to, um, they tell me, enjoy the meals in the comforts of their home where they feel it might be safer as well. So um, restaurants that I spoke to also tell me that oh, the crowds don't compare to pre-circuit breaker levels, but um, the level of takeaways still remains steady. So that's um, one good thing for them. And retail stalls in the mall also say that um, they're happy to be back at work. Many of the staff have been on leave for about two, two months now. Um, some also came by a couple of days earlier to dust off the shelves and really prepare for the opening. And it paid off because some of them told me they saw a surge in customers today morning. And it kind of mirrors what my colleague Cheryl Lin saw along Orchard Road today where she managed to speak to some shoppers as well. A constant stream of shoppers poured into Ni'an City on Friday, the first day retail shops were allowed to open in over two months. In fact, management says over 18,000 people came between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. I think it's staying at home for quite a while, so I just came out to take a video and uh, bring the kids out. Just going around looking at stores is something we've been looking for for a while. Yeah. Yeah, we've, we've had a certain amount of cabin fever yeah. and it's nice to stretch our legs. Here. The number's less than half of what it was before the circuit breaker period. But even then, crowds swelled at some points. Not that the visitors were too concerned. I think it's okay because everyone is wearing masks and we, we are all keeping like safe distance when we walk around and install. I think we are a safe place and I think with all the safe uh, you know, measures that are being taken, I think uh, I'm quite sure that everything uh, will be fine. These measures include ways to manage crowds, such as having just four entry points instead of the usual 12. There, safe entry registrations and temperature checks were enforced. On top of that, high touch points in the building, like buttons and railings, were disinfected more often. As for retail, changing rooms were also disinfected after every use. Samples or testers were taken off countertops. Signs were also up to remind shoppers of safe distancing measures. For the management, Friday's practice will come in handy as they gear up for the weekend crowd. Melissa, those masks and the safe distancing notwithstanding, crowds are definitely an area of concern still. So what's being done about that? Yes, definitely. We've had our first taste of normalcy today, but as Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong has pointed out, we can't forget the precautions we need to take, for example, safe distancing and wearing masks. So, for example, at malls like this mall Star Vista, there is a maximum capacity. 2,400 shoppers can be um, in the mall at any one point in time. And much like the mall Cheryl was at, um, there, there's only one designated entry and exit point so that they can monitor the crowd levels um, as well as maintain um, safe entry QR code scanning for contact tracing purposes. Um, apart from that, um, safety is definitely a top priority even at restaurants. You know, um, Restaurants have spent the time to rearrange tables um, and seating arrangements to ensure that between tables there's a safe distance. And my fellow reporter has also spoken to some restaurants to find out how they're getting creative in doing that. 
Dining in at this hot pot buffet restaurant won't be quite the same as before. For one, there isn't even a buffet line to begin with, and no one's allowed to refill their drinks from a common point. And it's all because of the latest guidelines from authorities to keep customers safe. For us, we have done a few things. We have removed all the food from our buffet lines and we have moved them to movable trolleys that will be brought directly to the customers' tables. We have pre-packed our cutleries as well to reduce the amount of uh, number of people who will be touching the cutleries and to improve the, customers, uh, the safety of the customers' dining experience. Only the people within the table will get to share it. So far, customers seem unfazed by the new measures, with some saying it's been more convenient to have food served to the table. Over in a city centre, customers are also dining in differently. More are asking to go al fresco, leaving tables inside the restaurant almost empty. We get the request online and people calling saying they would uh, prefer to sit outside for the ventilation, for the light, for all the health benefits that they prefer to have. We are hoping that all the customers can help us also to follow all the guidelines, follow all the uh, measurements that they have um, requested to do because this is our responsibility, all responsibility. It's not only ours, it's for everybody to, to collaborate. The restaurant's not letting up on precautions, fogging its premises twice a day. Definitely plenty of new normals to get used to. Um, uh, as we can see, businesses as well as shoppers and members of the public are rolling with the changes, trying to make the best of the situation. And I think from what I've observed today, uh, members of the public generally seem mindful of the need for safe distancing, you know, taking the time to stand apart from each other on escalators as well as in queues. Um, you know, and even if they forget, there are markers on the ground and physical reminders there to remind them to to do so. So all this as we try to resume our daily lives as safely as possible. Yeah, we all still very much need to uh, remember those safety measures that are in place. Melissa, thank you very much for that update. Melissa, go there with that report.